Amigos, welcome to this exciting tutorial. This one is a follow-up to creating big budget graphics. One of our friends, Alvin, is asking CM, how did he create the controls for the individual 3D objects like the game day and the morning layers? I can't control my layers. I'm gonna show you, amigos, quickly on how to create a simple logo in Element 3D and create these controls so you can control these layers. So let's jump first into Photoshop. And this is a logo. Like I said in that tutorial, if you're an illustrator in Photoshop and you have a path, you can always copy that path by hitting edit copy, going into After Effects, and if we create a new comp, you can put all these parameters, it's okay. Create a new solid. And if you paste it in, here's a mask. Now if we drill down, we can see here's a mask and we can select the mask, hit control C, go again, hit control V to create a second mask, and then this one, hit control T, and let's scale it down, and let's change it to subtract, and there we go. So we have the outline of the shield, and let's rename it to shield, and let's create the text tool, and let's type in V, perfect. Let's create a new solid, and let's make it black, and let's make it element E3D for element 3D. Let's put in element 3D. And where it says custom layers, element 3D accepts custom text and mask, any solids with mask. So for path layer one, let's select the shield, and for the second, we're gonna select the text V. Let's go into scene setup, and the first thing you're gonna do is hit extrude, and it extrudes the shield because it's reading the first custom path. Now if we switch it to set to the number two, it'll read the letter V. And I believe Element gives you up to 10 different paths that you can select. And if we hit on the bevel, we can make, we can make this a little bit thicker. We can make it like two, that's good. Let's make a copy of this. Uh, click on the shield, right click, and select duplicate model. And here, element 3D gives you up to five layers. So we're gonna go to the second layer. We don't want the V and the shield to be in the same layer. We want it to be on a separate layer. Because we can do this, we can select custom path two, but it'll be all in the first layer. We want it to be on the second layer instead. Now, a cool thing we can do with element is give it different bevel copies. And the second bevel copy, for example, we can make it bigger. Exp let's expand the edges. First one, let's extrude it just a little bit. And then the second one, let's offset it. So we have a little cool like depth. You see the difference? Let's move this. So bevel one is a small one and bevel two this bigger one. And that's a cool little trick you can do. You can do up to, I think you can do up to four different bevel copies, uh, five. All right, let's add our textures. Let's go to the shield, let's go to our presets. For this one, let's make it simple. Let's use the chrome, let's just drag and drop. Uh, for the second one, let's use the chrome for the bevel one and for the bevel two. Let's use, let's see, uh, maybe this one. No, it doesn't look good. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Hit OK. Now let's hide our original, the mask, the solid, and the text layer. Let's hide it. Let's go to fit up to 100 so you can see. And what we're gonna do is, let's go to group one. Remember group one is our first layer, which is only the shield. So where it says group utilities, Drill down where it says create group null, hit create, and let's call this shield null. Let's go back to element 3D. Let's go to the second group, and where it says create group null, let's hit create, and let's call this V null. And usually I do one more null object, and I'll call this master control. Let's make it a 3D layer by activating the 3D switch and let's parent this to the master control. 
and let's create a new camera. And now you'll see we can control each element separately, which is really cool. And let's give it some simple animation. For this one, for example, we can start it up here. Let's start it at 90. Let's put a keyframe. Let's go to 112. Go to zero. For the V, let's do another rotation. Let's put easy ease in. And we can do a little, a little master control as well. We can move it in, let's say from all the way back to here. And let's see what we get. So amigos, this is a simple way to create a logo. We use the path from Photoshop. You can use it from Illustrator as well. Paste it in After Effects to create this 3D bevel. And this is a text tool. And you can quickly create different nulls to control each element separately. You can control the V by itself. We can control the shield as well. And we have a master control that controls the whole entire 3D object. Amigos, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Always stay creative, let it flow like agua from an agua.